Find the side length given the base and the surface area. If the surface area of a cone is 180 square feet, what is the missing length? Round the answer to the nearest hundredth. Again, I'm going to underline nearest hundredth because that's very important to us. So let's take a look at the picture. We have the radius of the cone to be 4 feet and L, the slant height or the height of the side of the cone, is missing. So that's the missing measurement we're going to find. So let's recall that surface area formula. Surface area for a cone is pi r squared plus pi r l. We know that the pi we can use 3.14 in our calculations. So I'm going to substitute that in 3.14 times radius squared is 4 squared plus 3.14 times radius is 4 times l. And this is what we're solving for. So if I solve this out, I'll get the surface area equals 3.14 times 16, and that gives me 50.24. Plus, and then if I do 3.14 times 4, I get 12.56 times L. And if I, sub if I subtract, oh, but first I need to remember that I know the surface area. That's 180 square feet. So if I substitute that in for surface area, I'll have 180 equals 50.24 plus 12.56 times L. So if I subtract both sides by 50.24 and then divide by 12.56, so let's do that. 180 minus 50.24 equals 129.76. And if I divide both sides by 12.56, I'll get L equals approximately 10.33. So the slant height, or the height of the side of the cone, is approximately 10.33 feet.